Good evening. The controversial public arts centre in West Bromwich looks set to close. It cost £72 million when it opened in 2008, but it's never made money. Now, Sandwell Council says it can no longer afford to spend money subsidising the attraction. It's meeting now to decide its future. For more on this, we can join our reporter Wesley Smith, who's outside the public. Wesley, why have things come to a head now? Well, Kate, it costs £30,000 a week to run this place and the council says there simply isn't enough money in the pot. It is an iconic building in the middle of West Brom. Some call it an oasis of calm in the middle of town. It has had a chequered history, however. At first, many people simply didn't like it, but they have grown to love it. I've been taking a look back at its history. Construction on the public started back in 2003. The plan, a building that itself was a work of art, but also provided a place for community groups to gather. It ran over budget, organisations supporting the project went into administration, but eventually, in 2008, parts of it did open to the public. It wasn't completed until 2010. In total, it cost £72 million to build. It's been operated by Sandwell Arts Trust. Inside, it has artwork, a theatre, conference rooms, exhibition space, and several businesses call it home. It's also celebrated its millionth visitor since it first opened five years ago. It is, however, expensive to run. £30,000 a week adds up to nearly £1.6 million a year. The council is due to take over responsibility for those costs later this year, and the council says that's just too much money. Where's this building? Cost a fortune to build and needs another fortune to keep it going. Who actually uses it? I have to say, Bob, when I was in there this afternoon, the atmosphere was absolutely buzzing. Just today alone, 135 pensioners were here for their tea dance. Uh, the theatre is, is reasonably popular as well, and people often like to drop in and have a cup of coffee when they're in town. But it's also home to 20 or so small businesses, and many of them now face an uncertain future. We've been really happy here. Our clients have been very happy here. It's an ideal place for small businesses to operate from, of course, as well as the, uh, what people are using the public for, which is you know, entertainment, arts, etc. So it's a real disappointment. Local people I've been speaking to feel passionately about the public. I spoke to one man, West Brom, born and bred, who started his own campaign to try to save it. The reason why we wanted to start the campaign was because it's about everyone else in the building. We have the tea dancers on Wednesday who've been here today. They, they have like just bonded and they, there's so much kind of good stuff going on there. But then also because it's the summer holidays, um, our company runs um, lots of workshops with young children down here um, in the foyer uh, where we teach them how to do the things we do in our office. Um, and then you've got the families who come through. So what has the council had to say about today's decision? Well, they say they're really sorry, but they have to balance the books. They are not confirming that it is definitely to close full time, but say it certainly does have to change. I need to get it on a really firm financial footing for the future, and that's what we're trying to do. Now, I'm trying to have my cake and eat it as well, because what I'm doing is talking to the various organisations that we're talking to about maintaining the community aspects of it. So the tea dance the, you know, and the stuff for the pensioners, which are all very important uh, to, to local people. The other side of the coin is, is that, you know, I keep coming back to, we're under real pressure here. Yes, indeed, it's those local people who really will miss the public in its present form. Uh, they will miss the centre for all sorts of reasons, and they've been telling me just why. I was so disappointed because we've been doing this for four years and we've built up the numbers and it's a lovely afternoon for the older people. I think so, full on, especially as the new precinct has just opened, it's not even all the shops open. And I think when it does, it'll be phenomenal for the area. We've come to the centre, the shopping centre, and uh, we're coming last week and we've come in again this week because it's Andy. And it is a shame of the building if they shut it down, especially when all the children have been here as well. 
Well, Sandwell Arts Trust, who have to hand this centre back on the 30th of November, have issued a statement. They say, we are disappointed to hear that Sandwell Metropolitan Borough Council will not be extending the current contract with the Trust to run the public as a dedicated arts centre. We will continue our conversations with the Council and all interested parties to ensure that a future of high quality arts provision and opportunities are made available to the people of the Black Country. And that's where we are with the public tonight. Wes, thanks for that report.